Hello dear friends, uh, this is our Rajkumar from CRSK Tech Java. So today I am going to teach you how to install WebLogic application server. So I given uh, three step. The first one, how to install WebLogic uh, application server. Second one, how to create own domain in WebLogic application server. Then third one, how to integrate WebLogic application server with my Eclipse IDE. So the 8.1 is uh, the version. So I am going to use WebLogic 8.1 version. I am going to show you how to install WebLogic 8.1 application server. So the WebLogic uh, is one of the application server. This is a famous application server. So today I will show you how to install the WebLogic application server. The version is 8.1. So I will teach one by one. First I will teach how to install WebLogic server. Second I will teach how to create own domain in WebLogic application server. Third one. I will teach you how to integrate WebLogic server with my Eclipse ID. Okay, so we will see one by one. The first, so this is a, I have the software WebLogic 8.1 application server software. So uh, this software I will upload in my blogspot. My blogspot is uh, crsketech.blogspot.in uh, or you can get it from some other site. So uh, I will upload the software soon. Uh, st uh, uh, I didn't upload it still now. Uh, but I will soon I will upload this uh, software so you can uh, get it from my blogspot or you can download from any other uh, site okay so just to open this folder double click on the folder so you can see that this is uh, a platform 811 underscore bin 32 this is a web logic application server software so the 8.1 version okay so this I will show you how to Okay, install. Uh, I will show you how to install WebLogic application server. So just double click on the software. Okay, after double click on the software, just minimize this default. Click yes, then minimize this. So now see. <coughs> It's preparing uh, the installer. It will take few seconds. Okay, so now see the uh, BEA installer, WebLogic uh, application server, the window has opened successfully. Just to click on next button. Here you can see that the radio button, yes, no. Uh, do you agree with the terms of license? So, so this, uh, they given some the terms of license. Just to click on yes, then select next. So here you can see create new BEA home. So we have to create a home directory means where you want to install this WebLogic application server means in your system there are C drive, D drive, E drive, F drive you have lot of drive so lot of uh, drive so in which drive you want to install in which directory you want to install where you want to install that application server so the location that is uh, the DEA home so that we have to create so I want to install in a G drive so you change it just in G because I have specific driver for software install software installation, Java software installation. So I am installing all the software in G driver. So I want to install this WebLogic application server in G driver. So you can just eight. So because it is eight point one, so the location you can see that the G driver. This is a G drive. Here I want to install. I want to install that WebLogic application server in G driver. So G drive, G colon, backward slash B E A. The version eight. So that's why I given eight. This is a directory name I given. Actually, this directory BEA8 directory I didn't create still, but I given the directory in the path. So under G driver, I want to create one folder, the folder name BEA8. So under this folder, I want to install WebLogic application server. So this is a BEA home directory. So if you just where you want to install the drive under EQ the folder name BEA8. Under this folder, I want to install WebLogic application server. Okay, or if you have already the location, just to browse the location and uh, okay, select that location where you want to install the WebLogic application server. So then click on next button. So here you can see the option. So, 
so here by default uh, the complete option has selected so okay so you no need to change anything um, so this is a default uh, okay option so it has selected by default you no need to change anything so okay uh, complete only so it has selected already so by default so you no need to change it okay the complete only so then click on next button So see here you can I given the home I given the home directory G drive BEA 8 folder under this folder it will create another folder that is a web logic 8 1 so that is a directory the installation product installation directory here in uh, under this folder web logic 8 1 under this folder the web logic server will be installed this is a home directory G colon backwards last BEA 8 this is a home directory this is a software installation folder okay so this is a path so now you are going to install weblogic application server in this location g drive ba8 folder under this folder you can see weblogic 81 folder under this folder the software will install the product will install okay this is a product installation path understand then okay click on next button so now it will take some time to install the weblogic application server so you okay please you wait a uh, few seconds So you just to watch carefully uh, then uh, you can understand easily how to install a weblogic application server in your system without any mistake so this is a one of the famous application server so uh, if we uh, using this application server we can run web application uh, enterprise application distributed application all application we can run so it's a uh, provide a lot of facility and life cycle management uh, so a lot of facilities there So it will take a few seconds, uh, okay, 38 percentage has uh, completed, so it will take a few seconds. So this is uh, we are how to install uh, Weblogic 8.1 application server. So if you want to run any Java web application or Java enterprise application or Java distributed application, so this software we can use, this uh, Weblogic uh, application server we can use to run that, uh, those application. So first uh, you have to install that uh, logic application server after you install successfully then you have to create your own domain then you have to integrate application uh, server that web logic application server with uh, my eclipse id so then you can run your web application or distributed application or enterprise application you can run those application okay using that web logic application server so almost uh, it has completed so you wait a few more seconds okay so now we have installed successfully the web logic application server the version is 8.1 so now you uncheck all the check boxes so uncheck the both check boxes then click done okay so now we have installed weblogic application server successfully in windows operating system so the location home directory the home path under the installation path we have given so i want to check whether it has installed successfully or not just you can you can just go to computer my computer just click on my computer go to g drive under g drive we have given bea8 folder see the folder has created actually i didn't create that folder in path i given that folder g drive under g drive you create bea8 folder under that folder it will create another folder under that folder it will install that software so open this folder see so it has installed successfully under bea8 this is a home directory this is a home path g drive under g drive bea8 is a home path under this location it has installed the weblogic application server see the path uh, product installation path weblogic 81 it has created automatically open that you can see that 
it has installed the product as installed in this web uh, in this folder so this is so it has installed successfully if you want to check go to control panel so the programs and the features here here you can see that see BEA the logic platform 8.1 it has installed successfully so now we are seeing how to install the logic application server in the system okay the, uh, next session next video so uh, i will show how to create own domain in the logic application server